This is a qualitative investigation and hopefully it's one that you're already familiar with so we can just very quickly look at how it is that we can conduct an investigation to test for the presence of uh, the carbon-carbon double bond in organic molecules. So I hope that what you've been thinking as you've looked at the beginning of this video is well the carbon-carbon double bond can actually be identified very easily um, with the addition of bromine water. Bromine water is a great test substance for unsaturated hydrocarbons, so I'll put that under there for unsaturated hydrocarbons, because what will happen with these unsaturated hydrocarbons is they will undergo uh, an addition reaction. Structurally, if we uh, have, say, for example, um, let's call it pent 1 in for 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, two, two, two. there we go. Um, so here's our double bond here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to add bromine water. Now there are a couple of variations on this and it's going to be interesting to see just how um, how many different options you're going to be expected to understand. But I would assume um, that one of the simple things that you can do with this is to just look at the way that the bromine is going to add across the double bond. So we've got a bromine on the first carbon and a bromine on the second carbon and then uh, three, four, five carbons and of course all our hydrogens around and I haven't added all of those in and of course um, you can certainly do that and I'm hoping by now that you'll you'll have uh, been understanding that really what we do with our organic compounds is we put in our functional groups we put in our number of carbons make sure we locate our functional groups and then we fill up all of our carbons with four bonds in total and anything that isn't already part of the functional groups that we've labeled we um, just add hydrogens in there so you can see this is pent one in and with the addition of bromine water in aqueous it becomes one two dibromo pentane now it is possible that we can look at the way that the bromine combines in water. You may see some variations on this where the bromine water actually forms uh, a little complex where the bromine is actually bonded to a hydroxyl group and they can actually add across that double bond as well. And there are occasions where we have seen um, that that uh, is a variation on this theme. I think it's probably important to have a bit of a chat in class about it and just focus on this more simple um, version of the addition reaction uh, with bromine water.